Several of you have asked me how you can use an image as a background on a website. So this is just a quick demo on how you can change the wrapper image on your site. So if you click on More, Manage Site, Themes, Colors, and Fonts, and then you want to be here where it says Entire Page, Background, and Wrapper Image. If you click on the circle next to the icon of a picture and then click on the picture, you can upload an image that you have the right to use. For example, I've already verified I have the right to use this one. It's a picture of popcorn. So if I scroll down, I can see that now that popcorn has become my wrapper image. You can also change the background color, which you'll see if you scroll down a little bit more. All right, so I'm going to make sure I click Save. And if you want to see what it looks like, just go back. After you've saved it, just click on the name of your site, and you can see how those changes look. So here's the yellow background and the popcorn wrapper image. If you want to change your font. Several of you are also asking me how to do that. Once again, you just go to More, Manage Site, Themes, Colors, and Fonts. And if you want to change the font on the entire page, for example, I'm using something called um, Cherry Cream Soda for your background. Or actually, it's not for your background. Click on Text. And then for the font, instead of using the theme font, just click over next to the word normal, and then you can scroll down through the different fonts. So cherry cream soda just sounds like something that goes well with popcorn, and I like the way it looks. And you can change the size of it. You can change your link colors. Just make sure you click on save. So my site header, this is the site header. I've already changed the font. So here's the title. The font is Cherry Cream Soda, and it's 36 point. So that's how I did this. The content area, text. So the font, once again, is going to be right here, Cherry Cream Soda. I'm actually going to change it to a size 16 click on save and if you want to change if you want the font in your sidebar to match same thing you go to um, sidebar gadgets click on text and where it says font once again you're going to change your font there and I want it to be the theme size alright that's how you do it